Hey guys, it is Angie here from Lean Girl and today I'm talking all about the small meal myth when it comes to losing fat. So if you are eating a lot of small meals every single day and um, you are always pretty hungry and you're, you snack a lot and you really never really feel satisfied, you always feel pretty hungry, you always feel like you're on a diet and at the same time you're not seeing any results, then this video is for you. eating a lot of small meals increases your metabolism. So I'm here to tell you that that is not true. Um, it is actually pretty dangerous that the more times we hear something and the more times it's repeated, the more we start believing it and we don't actually know the scientific proof behind it. So it has been proven time and time again that regardless of how many meals you're eating, um, so if you're eating six small meals or three larger meals, if the calories are the same, your weight loss result is exactly the same. People used to say that eating a lot of small me meals would speed up your metabolism and this is false guys. And I'm sure that we have even repeated this, I may have even repeated this back in the day. Um, and so the more people we hear this from, the more we start believing it and the more you know we can imagine, sure, yeah, eating more food, you know, your body is just like burning, like it's like a furnace, you need to keep on putting in a little bit of fuel. And actually, that can really be detrimental to your overall weight loss result. You know, um, I was at a conference and they were saying that the theory that if you are stung by a jellyfish, you should pee on it. I would seen this thing on the Discovery Channel. Wait a minute. I saw that on the Discovery Channel. Yeah, about jellyfish and how if you... Um, when in actual fact it is scientifically proven that there is, that will not in any way help and it could actually, actually be detrimental. So that is just a fun fact. So the first problem with eating a lot of small meals is that you never really feel full. And what I say is the meal basically lasts all day because you can never forget about food because you're always a little bit hungry even if you've just eaten. And because you haven't had a lot, you always feel like, you know, there could be another option of something that you can also eat. So here's an example. I go out for lunch and I'm like, you know, I'm on a diet, I really want to be good and I order the soup. So I have the soup, it doesn't fill my big toe and an hour later I'm like, well, you know what, I had the soup for lunch so I'm sure I can have another little something small because I made that decision. And of course you're hungry so you then grab a handful of nuts. Then later on you think, well, you know, I only had a soup and a handful of nuts so I'm sure I can still have a little something else. And then you have, let's say, a, I don't know, oatmeal bar. Then, an hour later, you're like, oh, you know, I only had these few small meals and maybe I can still have some. And that is how your entire day goes. And if you think about it, when you add that all up at the end of the day, you feel like you've never really been full, you've never been satisfied. But if you add up the calories, it'll probably be more than if you just had three or four larger meals that would make you way more satisfied and actually allow you to forget about food for a couple of hours. When we're eating these tiny, small, unsatiating meals, we're pretty much hungry all day, and so we're thinking about food um, pretty much 24 hours a day, or at least while we're awake. And so the second problem with this is that there are so many more opportunities for you to make the incorrect decision on what it is that you should be eating. So when you have planned out three or four bigger meals, it is a lot easier, it takes up a lot less time to actually prep what and plan what you're going to have in those meals. As opposed to trying to figure out what you're going to have for six or seven or eight or nine meals a day. Some people, you'll be shocked, eat as many times as that. Um, and so eating fewer, less frequent meals actually allows you to have more control and to plan better on what those meals are going to be made up of. And as I mentioned, if you perhaps add up all the calories that you eat in those tiny meals, it will most probably be more calories than you would if you had larger um, planned out meals. This is a good example. So have you ever thought to yourself, you know what, I'm not going to have a slice of cake. Um, I won't have my own. I will just taste a piece rather. So there you have your cake, you've served up for everyone and then you just cut yourself a little slither. And then you cut yourself another little slither and you cut yourself another little slither. I guarantee you, after all those little slithers, it would probably be more than if you just had your 
own piece of cake. And then finish and part. The cake, piece of cake is over and you can just move on. So that is pretty much exactly what happens when you have a lot of small meals versus some really big, satisfying, enjoyable meals that allow you to forget about food for a couple of hours. So to wrap it all up, smaller meals are not necessarily the way to lose weight, but rather eating larger, more satisfying meals and that will help you stay fuller for longer, which will eliminate a lot of the decisions on all the little meals that you have to have every single day. It will save you time on obviously meal prepping, too many meals, and at the end of the day, I really think that it will help you to lower your overall calories, which we know is the secret to losing fat. So if you wanna know more about that, I do have a lot of awesome online programs that can help you get your nutrition in check and share some more helpful hacks with you exactly like this one that will bust a couple of myths and perhaps you know help reverse a couple of things that you've been thinking have been helping you to lose weight and when they actually could be harming you so check out those on the leanbuildguide.com i'll put a link in the description if you want to learn more about how you should be eating to lose those last couple of kilos and really get lean fit and healthy otherwise be sure to check out more of my videos with help helpful hacks on how to get your leanest body ever